YouTube, what's going on guys? My name is Jaden Paradox Customs, bringing you guys a quick video on the best, most efficient way to dual PC stream without using a capture card and without using OBS NDI or anything like that. It's going to be a quick, just OBS plugin called Teleport. It's going to essentially allow you to do what you do with NDI. However, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot more simple, and I haven't noticed any latency issues or syncing issues or anything like that so far after a couple hours of streaming. So let's hop right into the video. All right, guys. So now, as you can see, I'm on the Teleport 0.6.5 web page on OBS's website, theobsproject.com. And it is worth noting before I get started here that I'm on version 27 of OBS. You cannot run this plugin on anything before version 27. And if you guys do not know how to update your OBS to the latest version, stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you how to do that in two simple, simple steps. So again, worth noting, version 27 OBS, and I am currently on my gaming PC. As you guys can already tell, whatever PC I'm on for the purpose of this tutorial will be shown at the top of the screen. So we're going to want to go ahead and download this on the gaming PC. And we're going to take this page right here. And we're going to just download or click OBS teleport.zip. Now we go here. Open this up and we'll drag this on over. And I'm currently on a Windows PC, so I'm going to open up Windows x86 64. Double click teleport.exe. I agree. Install. And I've already done this, so I'm going to get an error here. I'm not going to redo it or anything like that because it again already exists. So I'm just going to press ignore. But you guys would go ahead and do that. And then that is pretty much it for step number one. Now, step two, I'm going to go ahead and drag my OBS on over here gonna be right here okay so this is a little hectic i know what i'm gonna do is disable this broadcast for now so we don't get put in a cycle and now we're pretty much on obs as you can see i have my vertical plug in here for my tiktok and stuff like that different video we can do later on in the future if you guys do want to see something like that but essentially what we're gonna want to do is reopen obs so if you already had it open close it and reopen it and now you're gonna want to go to your tools and you should see teleport right here this is a new plugin we just added now what i'm gonna do here is go to my gaming pc and this is going to be, uh, sorry, this is going to be disabled. And this is going to be set to something else. I'm not sure what the pre-default is. I'll just hit default really quick. And there's nothing. So what I would do in this situation is I'd title this my gaming PC. And I would set a port to something I'm comfortable using. So I'll do 1514, something that isn't too generic. And then I'll press teleport enabled, leaving quality at 90. And there you go. We are good to go. That is essentially all we have to do for my gaming PC. Now we got to head on over to our streaming PC. All right, guys, as you guys can now see, I'm on my streaming PC and I'm back on the teleport page and everything is going to be kind of the same setup process. So we're going to go ahead and go to the download, download the zip, install it. If you had OBS open, you're going to want to close it as the installer tells you to. If you didn't, you're fine. And you just relaunch OBS and your plugin should be there. So what I'm going to do now is get my camera off here, disable my preview and slide on over to OBS on the streaming PC. And this is actually a really simple process. So we're going to go ahead, tools, teleport. You're going to want to make sure you enable this. So I'm going to actually redo this. Enable. I'm going to call this streaming PC. We're going to want to change the port to match the port on our gaming PC, which is over there. Quality is going to stay at 90, and we're good to go. We're going to press OK. And now they are connected together, and they're feeding each other signals. So as long as you have OBS open on your gaming PC with teleport enabled, you can go ahead and add a new source on your streaming PC. It'll be called teleport. I'll call this my gaming PC feed. And we're going to go ahead and refresh the list. And you guys will see I have my streaming PC right here. And then the feed from my gaming PC, which is being broadcasted over there. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And essentially, we're good to go now. So this is all set up. We have the feed working, as you guys can see when I slide on over here. Any change I make on that OBS is going to be made on my streaming PC now. And the feed is connected with no delay or anything like that. So this is a super, super, super efficient way to do a PC stream on a budget if you guys don't want to get a GAT capture card. Maybe you can't afford it. And you guys don't want to go through the hassle of NDI and trying to figure out why your latency is all off and your delays and stuff like that. This seems to be a really, really nice, comfortable middle ground that has actually worked wonders for me personally. And I know a lot of other people who are using this plugin and have kind of hopped on this wave. So I definitely recommend it. Now, really quick, I did tell you guys I would show you how to do the actual updates. So if you are on your PC and you guys don't know how to check for updates on OBS, what you're going to want to do here is just go help, check for updates. And obviously, I'm on the latest version. I don't have anything available. But if you do, you'll be able to do it that way. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not leave that leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. I do appreciate everybody who shows love in the comments below, drops likes, shares us on Twitter, and stuff like that. We try and post as much informative videos as we possibly can and kind of go ahead. Besides selling our PCs, we like to kind of be a bridge between people who don't really know too much about the industry and PCs and kind of show as many tutorials and stuff like that as we can. So again, all the love is appreciated. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, please do not leave that leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.